comes from Herndon. Flowers. And Sherwood meet today in a first round match on It's Academic. Here's the opening round. Each team begins with 100 points. 10 up for a right answer, but 10 off for a wrong answer. In this round, the contestants here in the studio don't see the writing on their screens that you do at home. Big, bigger, biggest. We have some big questions coming up, all connected with the word big. Identify the following, and you must include the word big in your answer. Here's number one. This is another name for the Ursa Major constellation. Flowers. Big Dipper. Right. Sometimes called Sasquatch, this ape-like creature sure would... Bigfoot. Bigfoot is right. The tyrannical leader in George Orwell's 1984, Big Sherwood... Brother. Big Brother. Big Brother is right. It was at this little site that George... All right, uh, Little Sherwood. Big horn. Little Bighorn. Bighorn is right. Theodore Roosevelt advised carrying this symbolic weapon, Sherwood... Big Stick. Big Stick. That's right. This is the fruit-inspired nickname of New York City. Big, Sherwood. Big Big Apple. Big Apple is right. Installed in 1856, this is the bell in London's Parliament Tower. Sherwood. Big Ben. Big Ben. Big Ben. Big ben. This theory explains the origin of the universe. All right, flowers. Big, Big bang. bang. Big Bang is right. And there's the opening round of the second It's Academic with Mac McGarry. Sponsored by Giant. New things are happening at Giant. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. Welcome to another show in our 50th anniversary season of It's Academic. Here's team number one today. It's Herndon High. Fairfax County, Virginia. First uh, for Herndon, we see Carson Etienne. Carson? Hello, my name is Carson Etienne. I'm a sophomore, and I'd like to thank my coaches, Ms. Bona and Ms. Cranford. Thank you very much, Carson. Rob Williams. Hi, my name's Rob Williams. I'm a sophomore. I'd like to thank our alternate, David Pearson. Okay, uh, Robin, here's Hannah Kwan. Hello, my name's Hannah Kwan, and I would like to wish our football team good luck today at our homecoming game. Uh, they, uh, no doubt, wanted this is months ago that, that they were on with the team. Take a look at your screen now, and each correct answer is worth 20. We see an amber line. Study this, and you can find hidden within it the name of what capital of Germany? Berlin. Berlin is right. July 20th, 1969. All over the world, people were glued to their TV sets on this date when what astronaut became the first man to walk on the moon? Uh, Neil Armstrong. That's right. Zambia to Zygote. You look in this volume of an old encyclopedia to get information about what chief Greek god? Zeus. Zeus. C L C A C. Of these three chemical elements, which is the symbol for calcium? C A. C A is right. Your people, sir, is a great blank. To complete this remark by Alexander Hamilton, add what word for the ferocious creature such as the one linked with beauty in the title of a fairy tale? Beast? Beast, you had them all, Herndon. 200 after your part of the run. Very good. Now we meet the young people from Charles Herbert Flowers High School. They're in Springdale, Maryland, Prince George's County. Named for one of the famous Tuskegee Airmen of World War II. Here for first for uh, Flowers is Kevin Dunlap. Kevin? I'm Kevin Dunlap, and I'm a junior at Charles Herbert Flowers, and I'm in the Science and Tech program, and I'd like to thank my friends and family for being here. Okay, thank you, Kevin. Toreo Tijani. Good morning. My name is Toreo Tijani, and I'm a 16 year old senior at Charles Herbert Flowers, and in, a, in addition to its academic, I'm also on the mock trial team. Okay, very good, Toreo. Here's Mobi Otiji. Hi, my name is Mobi Otiji. I'm in Science and Tech at Charles Herbert Flowers High School, and I'm a sophomore. I'd like to thank my friends and family for being here today. Okay, take a look at the screen, Flowers. Let's see how you do with each correct answer worth 20 points to you. Colossal monkfish. Hidden in this lot of fish is what other fish noted for swimming upstream to spawn? Salmon. Salmon is right. Onyx to piano. You look in this volume of an encyclopedia to learn about what mythical winged horse ridden by Bellerophon. Pegasus. Right. February 12, 1809. 
This was the birth date of what British naturalist who wrote Origin of Species and developed the theory of evolution. Charles Darwin. It's also the birth date of Abe Lincoln, yes. Act, treaty, compact. Which of these three words is placed after the word Mayflower to name the document drawn up just before the pilgrims landed? Compact. Right. Poets have been mysteriously silent on the subject of blank. To complete this quote from G.K. Chesterton, add what dairy food that comes in such varieties as cheddar and mozzarella. Cheese. That's it. Good run, Flowers. 220 after your part of the book. Very good. <laughs> team number three is the team from Sherwood High in Sandy Spring, Maryland. That's Montgomery County. Here first is co-captain Brad Matthews. Hi, I'm Brad Matthews. I'm a senior at Sherwood High School, and I'd like to thank all of our fans, family, and friends that came out today to support us. You can have an announcing job here. Yeah, you're, thank you. you're terrific, Brad. Here's another co-captain, Rebecca Stussman. Hi, I'm Becca Sussman. I'm a 16-year-old junior at Sherwood, and I'd like to thank our coaches, Mr. Allen and Ms. Woolley. Okay, and here's Matthew Smith. Hi, I'm a 16-year-old senior, and I'd like to thank our alternate, Kevin Young, as well as the producers here at It's Academic. Well, all right. They're good people. Otherwise, we wouldn't be on the air. Take a look at the screen now, Sherwood. Here we go. That's a turn signal. It's your turn to get 20. If you can find in this phrase the name of what planet? Sixth from the sun. Saturn. That's right. September 4th, 1781. On this date, Spanish settlers founded what city? Now the most populous in California. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. That's right. Oats to Panda. It should be in this volume of an old encyclopedia that you'd find information about what marine mollusk that has eight tentacles. No, octopus. Octopus. Right. Take a look at Fort Necessity, Fort Knox, and Fort Sumter. Which one of these forts is the official gold depository of the U.S.? Fort Knox. That's right. And finally, the hardest thing in the world is to understand the blank tax. To complete this surprising quote from Albert Einstein, place in the blank what type of tax authorized by the 16th Amendment? Income. 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 Income, Income is right, and you have 260, the end of the round.